How's it going? My name is Brent from Encore PPF Intent, and today we are going to be working on a 2023 Toyota Prius. We're going to cover this mirror cap in one piece. So the full painted surface in the computer, it is cut out into two pieces, but I want to get it done in one so we don't have a seam. All right, let's go ahead and show you how we do this. So first I'm going to take some rubbing alcohol, 70% rubbing alcohol. And we're going to wipe this mirror cap down. That way we make sure and remove any wax or whatnot from the mirror and we can get really good adhesion. I'm also going to wipe down this section of the black plastic here, which is kind of a matte finish black plastic. Okay. All right, so now let's just give it our regular cleaning here. And actually I'm just gonna do what we call a waterfall, which is just spray it down and let it rinse all the dirt off. Let's get our piece of material here. Wet that down with the slip solution. And then we'll go ahead and lay this on top. Now the reason that I wanted to get this black plastic here good and clean is because we're gonna first tack to that. So let's get some tack solution in there. Spray off the slip off of the piece of material and let's tack this down to that area. I try not to really go past the edge on the bottom. That way the whole piece is tacked across this black plastic. All right, squeegee that out. Now you'll notice here that what I did was that I, I left the material most of it's on the front end then hanging over the back end and that's because when we stretch this we're going to bring it around this way and what that's going to allow us to do is to get this part to go down and i'll show you that while we stretch let's go ahead and pull this back wet this all down i want to make sure we don't have any tacking and we want to make sure that when we tack to that plastic that we didn't accidentally tack to any of the painted surface. Let's bring in a little bit closer here. Okay. So now we're gonna go ahead and do our stretch. So as you can see, this finger is real easy to get rid of. It's this front edge that curls down that's gonna be difficult. So we're gonna to continue to kind of turn the material back like this until we have that right at the edge. And then if we need a little bit more stretch, which we do, we can go ahead and put a little bit more into that. Perfect. Then I'm gonna go ahead and grab this with one hand here. And let's get rid of this slip solution. I am using good pressure. gonna go over this one more time there's also a seam right here in the plastic 
And that's where they put the seam in the two piece in the computer. So let's go ahead and squeegee along that and make sure we get out as much of that moisture as possible out of that area. And then I'm gonna take this down now. And then again, just double checking, make sure we didn't leave anything behind. I'm gonna go ahead and squeegee this all down. Okay. Now we're going to take a little bit a slip or a lot of bit a slip we're going to put it in here on this black plastic and then we're going to tack this all down to this plastic here so now we're good and stuck down All right, so we've got good coverage all the way around. And everything is stuck down. All right, there's a few extra steps that we're gonna do here to make sure that this stays stuck down because it was a decent amount of stretch. And I'm gonna let this sit for about five or 10 minutes and then we'll come back to it and we'll do those. And then when we're done with this mirror cap, it's gonna be ready to go home, so. Alexa, pause music. Oh my gosh, I just left that music on in the background. All right, so unfortunately on the other side, I left the radio on while I was talking about how to finish this mirror. And so we're gonna have to jump over to this side because as you know, I'm not gonna be able to upload that to YouTube without getting copyrighted. All right, so let's go ahead and finish this mirror instead. <laughs> All right, so after letting the mirror sit for a while and cure, the first thing we wanna do is put some heat on it. And we're just gonna heat up the edges just like we're doing a heat seal in the end. Let's double check and make sure we're not stuck to the mirror stock at all so we can get some different angles here. All right, now that we've heated this mirror up and sealed these edges down, what we wanna do is go ahead and trim them. And I'm gonna do them right away, so instead of waiting for them to cool down, I'm gonna go ahead and, and speed that process up. You don't wanna trim the material while it's hot because it is self-healing material, so it's, you're like kind of working against yourself. Plus, material that's hot trims different than you would be used to. So you definitely want to cool it back down. All right, so let's go ahead. And so before you would push a mirror like this open or closed, this would be closed, I would consider, you wanna make sure you don't have anything sticking to the, the mirror stock. Otherwise, obviously you're gonna rip this material up and potentially off of the pattern up here.
that's better. I didn't have all the lights turned on over here because I wasn't planning on doing this uh, trimming on this side. So I just went right to my cut line or right ne or near it. Nope, not near it enough. Okay, let's try a different spot. See if we can stick our finger in it over here and get it to start tearing. There we go. So it did pull up the edge just a tiny bit, and that's because these this between these two pieces of plastic is gonna hold moisture. It's, and it's pretty much impossible to let that completely dry out unless you leave it, you know, overnight, and maybe even that wouldn't be long enough. Let's finish weeding this all the way around. So I'm gonna hold this in place and then just tear real fast to get that to tear away. And I'm gonna go ahead and, before I do anything else, dry out this edge. And then we'll move on to the next edge. Got a little bit of a rounded corner here. I'm basically just gonna do a tiny little 45. Uh, I've only got three blades out. I'm gonna get one more out here. As you can see, I'm using my thumb here to place this blade. That's because my hands are a little shaky. I'm gonna do a very minor 45, real minor right there at the that end as well. Okay. Nope, that didn't that didn't tear correctly. So let's start on the other end. All right, I was just following it with my finger there to make sure that if it was gonna pop up at all, that it immediately got pushed back down. And dry these out again. All right, now we'll do our final heat seal on that edge and then this will be ready to go home.
All right, and then just another little piece of information. If I am doing a mirror that I feel is gonna be a little bit more difficult, I will do that mirror normally a day or two before the car goes home. So if I'll do this and then work on other parts, that way I can make sure that everything stays stuck down. I'm not really concerned about this one. It looks like it's gonna be just fine. Um, we did all the right prep. The, it installed really well and then we did the final heat sealing so i appreciate you taking a look at this if you found anything useful or helpful please like and subscribe comment and we'll see you on the next one